Hello everyone, in this video I'll share a few technical tips for environment creation. You can download the full scene on Patreon. So let's start simple on how to create a proxy for your trees. I am importing the tree, unpacking and scatter some points on it. Then you can just use the particle fluid surface to create a simplified mesh to use as proxy in Solaris. Now let's see how to make simple rocks lay flat on the ground. So we measure the area of all the brims and in a loop create some primitive normals. Getting the largest brim of the rock to lay flat and in this wrangle grouping it by comparing the largest with the original area. In this one we make all the necessary transforms. First getting the largest prime number and its normal. Then using the diedral we transform from the original normal to the new position. Get the centroid of the base prime and finally subtract the centroid position and orient it with the matrix. The original logic was suggested by Swalsh on the CG Wiki Discord by the way. And we now have the rocks laying flat on the ground, ready to be scattered. So now having the rocks, let's see how to make them work with the Instacery in Solaris. So with a component geometry typical setup, we object merge all the rocks, and we blast using the name attribute, along with the geo variant index. And that works because of the component geometry variants set to a number with the correct amount of rocks. Create an output and an explore variant, and finally we feed it to the instancer's primitive pattern. Now it's grabbing all the different rocks randomly and without having to split them in sobs. Ok, let's see how to create camera frustum calling with Solaris. This is based on a setup by NPT on the side effects forums. So inside the instancer, the first thing you need is an object network and you import the camera with a lop import camera node. Make sure to select it from the stage. After scattering the points, you will need these vex snippets that is similar to many first time calling approaches using NDC and it's nice that you have some padding too. Now, since this is a very basic scene and rendering fog takes a long time, Let's see how to make some quick fog with cops. In Solaris I am rendering two different streams, one for all the geometry and one for the background. If you want to render both, just select all the render ROPs and press render to disk. To avoid color space issues, make sure to also render to ACCG. Then you can create a cop network, load in the files and over them, since we have the alpha channel. I also rendered a depth pass that I'm normalizing and giving it some contrast to remove the foreground. Adding just a flat white color to the background so it adds fog there too and merge it over. And now we can use that as a mask for a simple offset by adding some value to the final image. You can control the fall off and density too. So that's all for now, hopefully you learned something new, and don't forget you can grab the full scene on Patreon, a lot of useful little setups in there. Thank you and see you soon.